Hi, this is Michelle Aiden with the Bertus Institute at the Capitol with Representative McKay to talk about House Bill 300 regarding police body cameras. Can you just give us a little information about the bill? Yeah, so real quickly, the bill deals with a couple of policy elements. One is um, the privacy uh, issues in grandma and trying to deal with privacy and how we deal with, because body cameras are fundamentally going in a place that no one else goes, mm -hmm. right? You've got a dash cam on a car and everybody's been fine with that footage, but the problem is, cars stay out on the roads. Body cameras go into your house, they go in your bedroom, they go in your basement. And I think just because law enforcement is there doesn't necessarily mean that everyone gets to see that footage. And so we've been trying to deal with that one. The other issue is the question of uh, setting a minimum standard. And, and really this minimum standard is trying to create some surety and transparency for, um, for body cameras. What that means is requiring law enforcement that once they, if they have a body camera, first of all, that they use it appropriately. In other words, turn it on, get the entire picture of what went on, and then turn it off, not to be turning it on and off intermittently. Mm -hmm. Great. Um, so this bill doesn't mandate law enforcement agencies to use body cameras. Why do some agencies use them and why do some not? Well, I think for the most part, law enforcement recognizes uh, that body cameras are a strong tool for law enforcement. They've seen citizen complaints go down as, uh, as they've implemented body cameras. And so I think that's really been, from a management perspective, they like having surety in their policing efforts and those kinds of things. And so you've, you've seen a real push to move towards body cameras anyways. It doesn't mandate it because there's still some technological issues as the, as the technology's coming along that I think will be solved in the next four or five years, but they're just not there yet. And so mandating it isn't necessarily the right place to go right now. Great. Um, and why is this an issue that people should be concerned about? Well, I think that privacy is a constantly eroding issue uh, up on the state. And so if you look at the way we are dealing with privacy today with, between social media and everything else and how much we're giving away as far as privacy, the last thing I want to do is introduce government into that as an equation of a way for you to continue to lose more privacy. As much as the federal government has already done that and everybody else seems to be okay with those things, I'm not. Okay. Thank you so much for your time. If you have any questions or want to contact your legislator, just click on the link in the description below. Thank you so much. <laughs>